In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, today we, we humbly come before our God acknowledging our sinfulness, our need, and we trust in God for mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are our strength and our hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the eternal Son of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, you are with us, always at our side, never abandoning us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love, I have loved you, so I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchman will call out on Mount Ephraim, rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exalt at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise, and say the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant sites and say, he who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. He did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away. She keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage and said, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, please, Lord, even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, we join in prayer today. Uh, this is a special a uh, day for Sister Mary Rita, Rema. I'm sorry, not Rita, I'm sorry. It's a good day for Sister Rita, but for Sister Alice, Rema. Uh, Sister Alice is a sister of Our Lady of Mount Kilimanjaro, uh, another order in, uh, centered in Moshi, Tanzania. And um, Sister is a tutor at St. Adelbert School and a, um, a student at John Carroll. A sister today is making her final vows as a sister. Um, and unfortunately, she's not able to go home to the mother house to do that because of this time of pandemic. So the vows are being received at St. Agnes Our Lady of Fatima and Bishop Roger Grease is accepting her vows. So we pray for her, we pray for her classmates making their final profession back home uh, in Tanzania, and for all religious women who serve the church with such distinction. I, I hate, literally hate, whenever this gospel uh, shows up because you always feel the obligation to try and sugarcoat it. Um, you know, to, to say, well, the Lord, he wasn't really saying that, or he really didn't mean that, or uh, he was doing it for this reason. Uh, you know, to that the woman, the, the, the Canaanite woman. Um, but I don't know. I really don't know. And I wonder if the Lord, who wasn't called the teacher, wasn't taught something today by that woman. Uh, he was silent. He ignored her. Uh, he didn't listen to his disciples who said, send her away. Uh, but her persistence, her faith, her love of her child perhaps caused a change of heart in the Lord himself, and he healed. The church is the body of Christ. And how many times have we needed to be reformed and, and to listen, to hear, and to change, and, and to apologize even? Think of the, the Jesuits of Georgetown who owned and sold slaves, how just recently they apologized. I think of the religious orders and seminaries um, who refused to accept candidates of, 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 of color. How much we have to repent of, to grow, and to change. And it's tempting to put all of that in the past, uh, to say those days are over, we, we've got it now. Uh, well, we don't. I mean, we're getting there, but we have a lot to learn. So we might ask ourselves, 
who is the Canaanite woman today who is teaching our church mercy? Who is the Canaanite woman today who calls out to the people of God for healing? And let us embrace the Canaanite woman in whatever disguise she comes to us and help her to be healed and welcome her among us. Amen. Now let us come to the Lord in prayer. Again, we begin by praying for our Holy Father, for our Bishop Designate. Today we pray for Sister Mary Ellis as she pronounces her solemn and final vows. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of those who feel excluded from the church, for those we have left on the peripheries and tried to ignore, that God will open our eyes to look upon them as sisters and brothers in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those suffering from COVID-19, for an end to this time of pandemic, for a vaccine, for cures, for those doing research, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember all of our beloved dead, and we pray today for Benigno, Benigno Rodriguez, who is remembered at today's Holy Mass. May the Lord grant him eternal rest we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, God of mercy, accept every prayer. Grant our needs through Christ Jesus. He is Lord now, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash me from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good in the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. Always to thank you, Lord, Holy Father, through Jesus, your word, through whom you made all things, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Spirit, born of Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. He broke the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. Now with angels and saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the very body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, my Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Benigno, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Mount Kilimanjaro, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Adelbert, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray as the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And let us share his gift of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Here is the Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, for so long I have been deprived by pandemic of the ability to come to Mass, the privilege of receiving you sacramentally, yet today again. I know that you will come spiritually into my heart and make it a tabernacle of true presence. Please help me to be a part of the church that you want me to be. Help me be an agent of mercy and never let me be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And once again to Sister Mary Alice, uh, congratulations on your final profession and thank you for your responding to the call of the Lord to serve. Now the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to serve and to love our Lord. Thanks be to God.